Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our engine protection feature we're gonna be finding in our Haltex software. So when we have our various inputs wired into our Haltex, such as our air temp, coolant temp, mat pressure, these are our basic inputs. Now, if we have a fault in any of these sensors, we can kick a DTC or a check engine light to come on to tell us and warn us that there's something wrong. Now, this is okay, but we can take things a step further. We can actually go in and implement this severity levels in our Haltech software that can take action other than just kicking a check engine light on. We can go in and add some additional fuel, pull spark timing, cut our boost if we're using boost control from our Haltech. We can even implement a lower rev limiter. We have three levels of severity for control. So if we have something like oil pressure that's wired in and we lose oil pressure, we can set that at the highest severity level, level three, that can actually shut down our engine. So we're gonna be taking a look at how all this works this is gonna be something you absolutely wanna implement in your tuning because it's gonna allow you to not worry about when something goes wrong. The Hall Tech is gonna be able to look at things at all points in time and then let you know when something's wrong, also take action so it saves your engine. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at our engine protection feature working with our Haltech ESP software. We're gonna be finding this is something we absolutely wanna implement before we begin our tuning or before we race our engine. It's gonna keep our engine safe if something goes wrong. So we're gonna be finding a whole bunch of things we have to program and go over in here, but if you set it up correctly, it's gonna allow you to have a hands-off approach and not have to worry about constantly hawkeyeing your laptop and trying to look at maybe your digital dash in the car, uh, if you have a Haltech dash, and try to watch all the sensors if you're racing. It's gonna simply tell us if there's a problem and then implement some kind of strategy to protect our engine. We might wanna shut our engine down, we want to have a lower rev limiter. We want to add some fuel or uh, pull some spark timing. We're going to have a whole bunch of things we can do. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. Now, if we jump up here into our setup, we're going to be seeing in our functions list here, we have to go and add our engine protection feature. So we're going to be typing down here at the bottom, engine protection, and we're going to be finding it populates right here. So if we click this, we're going to see it adds to our list. Now it's part of our calibration, and we have to start kind of programming it, looking at what this is going to offer. Now we can see it has this warning here, and it's going to be telling us it's recommended practice to enable the check engine light. So just like an OEM OEC would have the fault protection or the fault status when it goes in and it has an issue, if it has a DTC or a check engine light, and it illuminates that check engine light on the dash to tell us, hey, there's something wrong. And then it, we have to go in with a scanner and scan it, figure out what it is, and then troubleshoot it, and then clear it. It's going to have that same kind of functionality with our Hall Tech. So I'm going to just jump in here erase this. I'm going to be typing in check right here. It's going to pull up check engine light. So let's take a look at this really quickly and then we'll get back into our actual engine protection that we've enabled. So if we see here, um, looking through the, the settings, we're going to be finding that we have, this is going to be an output and we're going to be sending a switched signal to our actual check engine light on our dash or if we have an LED light, maybe we've wired in, we don't have our dash or OEM cluster anymore. We're able to go in and send a signal out that's gonna be appropriate to uh, illuminate that light to tell us that there's something wrong. So we would check this light output here and we're gonna be seeing output mode, digital switched. We also see we have a can output. So if we've ran out of outputs on our Haltech and we need more outputs, we can hook up a can device. We'd have to configure that under devices here and it would allow us to send a output and turn on the check engine light from our canned based unit that we're gonna be adding to our Haltech. So, um, if we have enough outputs, in my case, let's say I did, I would use digital switch that's going to be coming from the pin from our Halt Act to actually control something. So looking down here, we have to specify what pin we would wire it to. Jump in here, we'll see that we have our drive-by-wire pins or two of our stepper outputs. If we're not using a stepper control for our idle, I'll select this step one, P3. Then we're going to be finding we have this populate here. We're going to see active state and drive type. Active state is going to be either low or high. Um, depending on if you enable this feature and wire it in, if you go in and you set it on low and your check engine light turns on when you have